Happy Sunday. This is a ClinCheck Sunday short. I am your host, Dr. David Gallagher. This is 60 seconds to a better ClinCheck. I want to teach people how to use this uh, table here called Overjet Overbite Table. Fairly self-explanatory, but let's go through it. Okay. What it says is that at the beginning of treatment, the initial overjet is two and a half millimeters, but then at the end of treatment, it is one and a half millimeters. So let's see what that looks like. This at this point, it's two and a half. And at this point, it's one and a half. Now, if I go ahead and take this tooth and I move it out to the buckle, let's watch what happens here. So I take number eight, one, one, and I move it out to the buckle. Look at how this number becomes 3.2, meaning the initial overjet was 2.7. That's there. I made it even bigger. Conversely, if I took the tooth and moved it all the way edge to edge-ish, it would have started 2.7 there, and I would have made it 1.3. If I really made it edge to edge, it, I would be like, or edge to edge, my over jet would be negligible at 0.7. Started 0.7, got to 2.7, sorry, got to 0.7. So as I move this tooth in and out, you'll see the doctor final over jet for tooth number eight increasing, increasing, increasing all the way to three, nine, and then decreasing, decreasing. So I always like to look and see what the initial overjet was and what the doctor final overjet was. And you can kind of compare it like that. Um, this Invisalign created an overjet that was 2.2. I created an overjet that was 1.2. I don't want to actually do that because of being edge to edge bite, but just wanted to demonstrate the point. This has been a Sunday clinch short. I am your host, Dr. David Gallagher.